everyone. Welcome back to Home Tuitions. Today, Home Tuitions came with the topic Animal Homes. Today, I'm planning to take the class in English. Okay, so it's a requested video actually. So uh, the, she requested me to take class in English, so that I'm opting for this one. So watch the video till the end, and if you like the video, would press the like button and uh, subscribe if you like. Okay, so let's start the class. Hello, babies. Are you happy? Hope you all are happy and fine. I'm also fine here. I'm your social teacher. Okay, so let's start our animal homes. Children, do you know why animals need homes? Yes, like us, animals also need home, isn't it? Why we need homes? We need home to protect ourselves from bad weather, thieves, animals, isn't it? That's why we need homes. And why animals need homes? Animals also need homes for all these purposes. That is, to protect themselves from the bad weather and also from the enemies, their enemies. Okay. So, the first animal home we are going to study is about the home of a dog. Look at the picture. Yes. It is a dog. It is a dog. And what a dog leaves? A dog leaves in a... Yes. See. This is the picture of a kennel kennel this is the picture of a kennel and a dog lives in a kennel a dog lives in a kennel a dog lives in a kennel okay moving on to the next animal yes this is the picture of yes it is picture of a cow and do you know where a cow lives a cow lives in a see shed shed a cow lives in a shed cow lives in a shed a cow lives in a shed isn't it beautiful to see there are many other cows isn't it yes cows they're all living together in a shed in a shed so a cow lives in a shed yes then moving on to the next picture and wow it's so beautiful which picture is this this is a picture of a nest, isn't it? This is a picture of a nest and you can see some eggs there, isn't it? Yes, count that eggs. How many eggs are there? Yes, three eggs are there. Very good, very good. Three eggs are there. And who is living in this nest? Yes, it will be the birds. The birds are making nest and you are living inside the nest and they are laying eggs also inside the nest. So, the bird sleeps inside the nest. So, nest is the home of bird. A bird lives in a nest. A bird lives in a nest. A bird lives in a nest. Yes. Next picture. <coughs> Who is this? Can you hear a galloping sound? I heard. Did you hear? Yes. What is that? Yes, it is a horse. It is a horse, isn't it? Yes, it is a horse. And do you know where a horse lives? A horse lives in a stable. See the picture of the stable. Yes, this is the picture of a stable. Yeah. And have you seen stable before? Yes, many of you have seen. But many of you didn't see. So for that, for that, for those, these, this picture is stable. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, it is beautiful. It's beautiful. Yes, and you can see horses there. You can see horses there. Yes, it's nice. It's nice to see, isn't it? Many horses in a stable. Yeah. So, a horse lives in a stable. A horse lives in a stable. A horse lives in a stable. Okay. Hey, children, can you hear any clucking sound? Yes, any clucking sound can you hear? I can hear. Yes, it is a hen. It is a hen. Who clucks? A hen clucks. Yes. And do you know where a hen lives? A hen lives in a coop. Do you want to see a coop? See, this is the picture of a coop. Isn't it beautiful? Is there eggs in the coop? Yes. So children, a hen lives in a coop. A hen lives in a coop. Okay. Moving on to the next picture. See, who is this? Ah, this is a sheep. This is a sheep. Sheep. Ma. 
makes a sound like this, isn't it? Yeah, like got sheep also mass less. Okay, and sheep from the sheep we are getting wool. That also you have to study. Who gives us wool? It is a sheep that gives us wool. Okay, and sheep where the sheep leaves. Do you know? Sheep leaves in a pen. Sheep leaves in a pen. It's not a writing pen. It's not a writing pen. Sometimes, sometimes you may be thinking, pen. Why sheep is leaving in a pen? Huh? See this, children. This is a pen. This is a writing pen actually. But sheep it leaves in a place called pen. Okay, and this is not a writing pen. Don't misunderstand. Okay, so a sheep leaves in a pen. A sheep leaves in a pen. A sheep leaves in a pen. Okay. And the last one. Who is this picture? Who is looking like fluffy? Yes, it is a rabbit. Do you like rabbits? Yes, it's so lovely to see, isn't it? Yeah, so beautiful. So, rabbit. Do you know where a rabbit leaves? A rabbit leaves in a burrow. A rabbit leaves in a burrow. A rabbit, rabbit leaves in a burrow. Do you want to see a burrow? Yes, see, this is a picture of a burrow. Burrow, it is actually, they are making holes inside the ground, inside the earth. That's called as burrow. Ground, they are making this um, you know, holes. It is called as, uh, the rabbit homes, it is called as burrow. Okay? Yes. So, children, we all, uh, we all studied um, these uh, animal homes and all. So, just uh, revise once more. See this one? Have written these animal homes on the board check it out first one it is dog dog leaves in a kennel a dog leaves in a kennel okay next one cow for a cow leaves shed a cow leaves in a shed a cow leaves in a shed next one bird leaves in a nest a bird leaves in a nest a bird leaves in a nest then horse what is a horse leaf a horse leaves in a Stable. A horse leaves in a stable. A horse leaves in a stable. Next one. Hen. Hen leaves in a coop. Hen leaves in a coop. Hen leaves in a coop. The next one. Sheep. Sheep leaves in a pen. Sheep leaves in a pen. Sheep leaves in a pen. And the last one. Rabbit. Rabbit leaves in a burrow. A rabbit leaves in a burrow. Rabbit leaves in a Burrow. Please, did you enjoy the class? Wasn't it interesting? Okay, so I will come again next time with another topic. Until then, bye bye. Stay safe and healthy.